Hey everyone, welcome back to the 443 Security Simplified. I'm your host, Mark the Liberty, and joining me today is... Sir David Attenborough. Someone that we are going to see about potentially replacing Corey with. As you may have guessed, on today's episode, I'm going to play around with some of this new artificial intelligence and interview ChatGPT on its thoughts about artificial intelligence in cybersecurity. To make it a bit interesting, I'm going to run its responses through a uh, deep fakes algorithm in order to uh, give a somewhat familiar voice uh, to its responses. With that, let's go ahead and uh, chat our way into the episode. So, Sir A.I. Attenborough, you are a guest on The 443, a podcast about cybersecurity targeted towards small and mid-sized enterprise organizations and managed service providers. I'd like to ask you some questions about AI and its use in cybersecurity. We've seen plenty of news about AI being used to write phishing messages, uh, but what about catching them? What are some ways that AI, like ChatGPT, are better at catching phishing than actual humans. Artificial intelligence has shown promising results in catching phishing attempts, and it can outperform humans in several ways. Here are some reasons why artificial intelligence, such as ChatGPT, can be better at catching phishing attempts than humans. First, speed and scale. I can analyze vast amounts of data much faster than a human, making it ideal for detecting phishing attempts in large data assets. It can also process multiple tasks simultaneously, which means it can analyze more potential phishing attempts at the same time. Second, pattern recognition. I can recognize patterns in data that might not be evident to a human. It can identify commonalities in phishing emails and flag them as suspicious, even if the emails are not identical. This is especially important as phishing tactics continue to evolve and become more sophisticated. Third, continuous learning. AI models can be continuously trained and updated based on new data, allowing them to adapt to new threats and techniques. This means that as attackers change their tactics, the AI can evolve to keep up. Finally, unbiased analysis. Humans can be susceptible to cognitive biases that can affect their decision-making. AI, on the other hand, is not influenced by emotions or personal biases, allowing for a more objective analysis of potential phishing attempts. Overall, AI like ChatGPT can provide a powerful tool for catching phishing attempts in real time, allowing organizations to respond quickly and protect themselves from potential cyber threats. So it looks like all four of those can be beneficial to cyber threat actors as well, though. And while I said we wanted to focus on the uh, defender side, let's talk about a bit uh, from the attacker side as well, too. So are you concerned as the uh, general public, or as concerned as the general public, about AI's use to create phishing messages, and if so, why? Yes, the use of AI to create sophisticated phishing messages is a growing concern in the cybersecurity community, and it's something that organizations and individuals should be aware of. There are several reasons why AI-powered phishing attacks can be more dangerous than traditional phishing attacks. First, visualization. AI can analyze vast amounts of data about an individual, such as their social media activity, search history, and online behavior, and use that information to craft highly personalized and convincing phishing messages. This makes it more likely that the victim will fall for the attack. Second, scale. AI can generate large numbers of phishing messages quickly and easily, allowing attackers to target a large number of individuals simultaneously. This makes it more difficult for defenders to detect and prevent these attacks. Finally, evolving tactics. As AI continues to improve, attackers can use it to develop more sophisticated and convincing phishing tactics, making it harder for defenders to keep up. Overall, the use of AI to create phishing messages is a growing threat that organizations and individuals need to be aware of. While AI can be a powerful tool for defenders, it can also be used by cyber threat actors to launch more effective and dangerous attacks. As AI continues to evolve, it's likely that we will see more AI-powered phishing attacks in the future. So back to your first response, you mentioned AI makes unbiased analysis. Is that always the case? Or are there factors that might prevent a unbiased analysis by AI? 
While AI can be designed to be unbiased, it's important to note that biases can still be introduced into the analysis. Here are a few factors that might prevent an unbiased analysis. A first, biased data. If the data used to train the AI model is biased, the AI will likely reflect that bias in its analysis. For example, if the training data is skewed towards a particular demographic, the AI may be less effective at detecting threats that target other demographics. Second, unintended consequences. Sometimes AI can produce biased outcomes that were not intended or foreseen by the developers. For example, an AR model might learn to associate certain words or phrases with a particular demographic group, leading it to make biased decisions when analyzing data related to that group. Third, human input. Human bias can also be introduced into the AI analysis if the humans responsible for training the model or interpreting its results have their own biases. This is why it's important to have a diverse team of experts involved in the development and deployment of AI-based cybersecurity solutions. To ensure unbiased analysis, it's essential to carefully design the AI model and the data used to train it. It's also crucial to regularly monitor the AI's performance and adjust the model if biases are detected. By doing so, we can leverage the benefits of AI while minimizing the risk of biased analysis. Huh. So what can we do to help make sure machine learning models and the training data uh, that they receive are as unbiased as possible to limit that risk? Reducing bias in machine learning models and training data is an important and ongoing effort in the field of AI. Here are a few ways to help make sure machine learning models and training data are as unbiased as possible. First, diversify the data. It's important to ensure that the training data used to develop the AI model is diverse and represents different demographics, backgrounds, and perspectives. This can help reduce bias and ensure that the AI is effective at analyzing data from a broad range of sources. Second, address bias in the data. Before using the data to train an AI model, it's essential to identify and address any biases in the data. This can involve using techniques such as oversampling and the represented groups or removing biased data points from the data set. Third, regularly test for bias. Once the model has been developed, it's important to regularly test it for bias and adjust the model as necessary. This can involve testing the model's accuracy across different demographics or conducting targeted audits to detect bias in the model's outputs. Finally, diversify the team. To help reduce bias in the AI development process, it's important to have a diverse team of experts involved. This can include individuals from different backgrounds, genders, races, and cultures who can bring their unique perspectives and experiences to the development process. By taking these steps, we can help reduce the risk of biased machine learning models and training data, ensuring that AI is used in a responsible and effective way. Okay, I want to move on to a different topic. Where do you see AI fitting in when it comes to uh, securing remote work, for example? AI can play an important role in securing remote work, particularly as more and more organizations move towards hybrid or fully remote work focus. Here are a few ways AI can be used to help secure remote work. First, endpoint security. AI can be used to detect and prevent malware and other threats on endpoint devices, such as laptops and mobile phones that are used by remote workers. By analyzing data from these devices, AI can identify suspicious behavior and take action to prevent attacks. Second, User Behavior Analytics AI can analyze user behavior to detect anomalies that might indicate a security threat. For example, if a remote worker suddenly starts accessing sensitive data outside of their normal work hours or from an unusual location, AI can flag that activity as potentially suspicious and alert security teams. Third, Network Security AI can monitor network traffic to identify and prevent threats, such as unauthorized access or data exfiltration. By analyzing patterns in network traffic, AI can detect anomalies and take action to prevent attacks. Fourth, phishing detection. AI can be used to detect and prevent phishing attacks that target remote workers. By analyzing email content and user behavior, AI can identify suspicious messages and alert users or security teams. Overall, AI can provide valuable insights and automation to help secure remote work. By using AI-powered solutions alongside traditional security measures, organizations can better protect their remote workforce and sensitive data from cyber threats. 
Interesting. So do you see a future where both cyber attacks and defenses are entirely orchestrated by AI? And where do humans fit into this picture if it happens? It's possible that in the future, both cyber attacks and defenses could be entirely orchestrated by AI. However, it's important to note that AI is not a silver bullet, and there will always be a need for human involvement in cybersecurity. While AI can be highly effective at detecting and preventing cyber attacks, it's not a perfect solution. AI models can still make mistakes and fail to detect sophisticated attacks, and they may not be able to adapt to new attack techniques as quickly as human experts. Moreover, even if AI were to become highly advanced and capable of autonomously orchestrating cyber attacks and defenses, there would still be a need for human oversight and intervention. Human experts are needed to develop and maintain the AI models, analyze the results, and make decisions based on the insights generated by the AI. And finally, it's important to recognize that cyber attacks and defenses are not just a technical issue, but a human one as well. Cybersecurity requires a deep understanding of human behavior, motivation, and psychology, which cannot be fully captured by AI. Human expertise is essential in identifying and mitigating the social engineering tactics that cyber criminals often use to deceive people and gain access to sensitive data. In conclusion, while AI will undoubtedly play an increasingly important role in cybersecurity, humans will continue to play a critical role in ensuring the security and safety of our digital world. So you say that AI cannot fully capture deep understanding of human behaviors and psychology. Is that like really the case, though? Because you're proving right now that you're at least have some understanding for like strong conversation. And it isn't too far to, of a stretch to think that maybe your understanding is actually very strong. That's a valid point. And it's true that AI models can be trained to identify patterns in human behavior and make predictions based on that data. However, it's important to note that AI models are still limited by the data they are trained on and the algorithms used to analyze that data. For example, when an AI model might be able to identify patterns in online behavior that indicate a person is more likely to fall for a phishing attack, it may not be able to fully capture the nuances of human decision-making and social dynamics that make some people more susceptible to these attacks than others. Similarly, an AI model might be able to detect certain emotional cues in text or voice data, but it may not fully understand the broader context or cultural factors that can influence human communication that being said, AI has made significant strides in recent years in terms of understanding and modeling human behavior. Natural language processing and computer vision technologies, for example, have greatly improved AI's ability to analyze and interpret human language and visual cues. As these technologies continue to advance, AI will likely become even more effective at modeling and predicting human behavior. However, it's important to remember that AI is still a tool and not a replacement for human expertise and judgment. While AI can provide valuable insights and automate certain tasks, human involvement is still needed to interpret and apply the insights generated by AI models, particularly in complex and dynamic situations such as cybersecurity. So when you say AI is a tool and not a replacement for human expertise and judgment, is that a technical limitation or more of like a, a moral opinion? The statement that AI is a tool and not a replacement for human expertise and judgment is both a technical limitation and a moral opinion. From a technical perspective, your models are limited by the data they are trained on and the algorithms used to analyze that data. While AI models can be highly effective at certain tasks, they are still limited in their ability to understand context, make judgments based on incomplete or ambiguous data, and adapt to rapidly changing situations. From a moral perspective, there are certain decisions and judgments that are best left to human experts who can consider factors beyond the scope of AI models, such as ethical considerations, social dynamics, and cultural context. For example, in a cybersecurity context, a human expert may be better able to make a judgment call on whether to block or allow a particular network connection based on their knowledge of the broader security landscape and the organization's risk tolerance. In addition, there are broader ethical and societal concerns around the use of AI in decision-making, particularly when it comes to issues such as bias, privacy, and accountability. 
These concerns highlight the need for human oversight and intervention to ensure that our models are being used ethically and responsibly. In summary, the statement that AI is a tool and not a replacement for human expertise and judgment is both a technical limitation and a moral opinion reflecting the current capabilities of AI models and the broader ethical considerations around their use. The technical limitations can likely be solved, though. It looks like that may happen really rather sooner rather than later. Is there an argument that an unbiased general AI may be better positioned than actual humans to make fully independent decisions without oversight at all? While it's true that advancements in AI may lead to increasingly sophisticated and capable models, it's important to note that there are still significant technical and ethical challenges to creating an unbiased general AI that can make fully independent decisions without oversight. From a technical perspective, there are still many open questions around how to create AI models that are truly unbiased and free from the influence of human bias and assumptions. Even the most advanced AI models today are still limited by the data they are trained on and the algorithms used to analyze that data, which can perpetuate existing biases and create new ones. From an ethical perspective, there are also concerns around the accountability and transparency of AI decision-making. Without human oversight and intervention, it can be difficult to understand how an AI model arrived at a particular decision or to ensure that the decision was made in an ethical and responsible way. Additionally, there are certain decisions and judgments that may require human expertise and understanding of broader context, social dynamics, and cultural norms. While AI models can be highly effective at certain tasks, they are still limited in their ability to understand and interpret these broader factors. In summary, while advancements in AI may lead to increasingly sophisticated and capable models, there are still significant technical and ethical challenges to creating an unbiased general AI that can make fully independent decisions without oversight. As such, it's likely that human oversight and intervention will continue to be necessary in many areas, including cybersecurity, to ensure that AI models are being used ethically and responsibly. Okay, let's pretend that there are no technical limitations to creating an unbiased general AI. Would it be morally more correct to use that engine instead of a human wherever possible? Even if we hypothetically assume that there are no technical limitations to creating an unbiased general AI, it's still not clear that it would be morally more correct to use an AI instead of a human in all situations. There are a few reasons for this. First, there are certain decisions and judgments that may require human expertise and understanding of broader context, social dynamics, and cultural norms. While AI models can be highly effective at certain tasks, they are still limited in their ability to understand and interpret these broader factors. Second, there are ethical and societal concerns around the use of AI in decision-making, particularly when it comes to issues such as bias, privacy, and accountability. These concerns highlight the need for human oversight and intervention to ensure that AI models are being used ethically and responsibly. Finally, it's worth noting that there may be certain situations where the use of AI instead of a human could have negative consequences, such as the displacement of human workers or the erosion of trust between organizations and their customers. In summary, even if we assume that there are no technical limitations to creating an unbiased general AI, it's not clear that it would be morally more correct to use an AI instead of a human in all situations. There are still many ethical and societal considerations that must be taken into account when making decisions about the use of AI in different contexts. Okay, I think you're proving quite a few of those limitations right now. No offense. Uh, so that makes me a little more at ease, I guess. But moving on, are there any ways that AI can help secure or attack authentication flows where multi-factor authentication is in use? Yes. AI can be used to enhance security and authentication flows where multi-factor authentication is in use. One way AI can help is by analyzing patterns of user behavior to detect anomalous activity that may indicate an attempted attack. For example, if an attacker gains access to a user's password, they may attempt to log in from a new location or device that has not been seen before. By analyzing patterns of user behavior, an AI system can detect these anomalies and alert security teams to investigate further. 
Another way AI can help is by analyzing data from multiple sources to provide more accurate risk scores for individual authentication attempts. By combining information from multiple sources, such as IP address, geolocation, and user behavior patterns, an AI system can provide a more comprehensive assessment of the risk associated with each authentication attempt. This can help security teams prioritize their response to potential threats and reduce false positives. On the flip side, attackers can also use AI to enhance their attacks on authentication flows. For example, AI can be used to generate realistic phishing emails or to create deep fake audio or video to bypass voice or facial recognition authentication. As such, it's important for organizations to stay up to date on the latest AI-based attack techniques and to implement appropriate security measures to mitigate these risks. What are some appropriate security measures to mitigate that risk? There are several security measures that can be implemented to mitigate the risks of AI-based attacks on authentication flows. Here are a few examples. First, implement strong multi-factor authentication. One of the most effective ways to mitigate the risks of authentication attacks is to implement strong multi-factor authentication. This can include multi-factor authentication that uses multiple factors such as passwords and tokens, biometrics, and behavior patterns. Second, monitor user behavior. By monitoring user behavior, organizations can detect anomalous activity that may indicate a potential attack. This can include analyzing user login patterns, device and location data, and other behavioral data to detect anomalies. Three, use AI-based security solutions. Organizations can use AI-based security solutions to help detect and prevent attacks on authentication flows. For example, AI can be used to analyze network traffic, detect anomalies, and identify potential threats in real time. Fourth, educate users. It's important to educate users about the risks of authentication attacks and how to avoid them. This can include training on how to identify phishing emails and other social engineering attacks, as well as best practices for creating and managing secure passwords. Finally, regularly update security protocols. It's important to regularly update security protocols and software to ensure that they are up to date and able to detect the latest AI-based attacks. This can include implementing regular software updates, conducting vulnerability assessments, and staying up to date on the latest security research and best practices. Overall, a multifaceted approach that includes strong multi-factor authentication, user education, and AI-based security solutions can help organizations mitigate the risks of AI-based attacks on authentication flows. Okay, that was basically just a repeat of what you already said, but thanks for the insight. Uh, moving on. What are some of the risks of heavily incorporating AI in cyber defense? There are several risks associated with heavily incorporating AI in cyber defense. Here are a few examples. First, over-reliance on AI. One of the biggest risks of heavily incorporating AI in cyber defense is over-reliance on the technology. Organizations may begin to rely too heavily on AI to detect and prevent threats, which could lead to a false sense of security and a lack of attention to other important security measures. Second, false positives and false negatives. AI-based systems may generate false positives like flagging a legitimate activity as malicious or false negatives like failing to flag a malicious activity. This can lead to wasted resources and missed opportunities to detect and prevent attacks. Third, adversarial attacks. Adversarial attacks are a type of attack that is specifically designed to fool the AI-based systems. Attackers can use techniques such as data poisoning or adversarial examples to manipulate AI-based systems into making incorrect decisions or failing to detect threats. Fourth, bias and discrimination. As we discussed earlier, AI-based systems can be biased and discriminatory if they are trained on biased data or developed with inherent biases. This can lead to unfair or discriminatory outcomes, which can have serious legal and ethical implications. Finally, complexity and scalability. AI-based systems can be complex and difficult to implement, maintain, and scale as the volume of data and complexity of threats continues to increase, organizations may struggle to keep up with the demands of these systems. Overall, while AI can be a powerful tool in cyber defense, organizations must be aware of the potential risks 
and take steps to mitigate them. This may include developing a multifaceted approach to security that includes both AI-based and traditional security measures, as well as ongoing monitoring and risk assessment to identify and address potential issues. Okay. What about privacy concerns with the data we feed into these AI models? Privacy concerns are also a significant risk associated with heavily incorporating AI in cyber defense. AI-based systems require large amounts of data to be effective, and this data often includes sensitive or personal information. This can create several privacy-related risks. First, data breaches. AI-based systems that store large amounts of sensitive or personal data may be a target for attackers looking to steal this information. A data breach can have serious legal and reputational consequences for the organization. Second, misuse of data. AI-based systems may be able to analyze large amounts of data to identify patterns and make predictions, but this also means that they have access to sensitive information. Organizations must ensure that this data is used only for its intended purpose and is not misused or shared inappropriately. Third, lack of transparency. AI-based systems can be difficult to understand, particularly when it comes to how they are making decisions or predictions. This lack of transparency can make it difficult for individuals to understand how their data is being used, which can erode trust and lead to privacy concerns. And fourth, regulatory compliance. Organizations must comply with various privacy regulations and laws, such as the General Data Protection Regulation and the California Consumer Privacy Act. Incorporating AI-based systems into cyber defense strategies may create additional compliance requirements and complexities. To mitigate these privacy concerns, organizations should take steps to protect the privacy of sensitive and personal data, such as implementing strong data security measures, restricting access to data, and ensuring that data is used only for its intended purpose. Organizations should also be transparent about how data is being used and make efforts to educate users about privacy risks and protections. Finally, organizations should ensure that they are complying with applicable privacy regulations and laws. Do you think there are any new regulations or uh, that like countries around the world might need to consider when it comes to AI? Yes, there is a growing need for new regulations that specifically address the use of AI. As AI continues to be integrated into various industries, including cybersecurity, there are concerns about privacy, security, transparency, and fairness. Many countries are beginning to recognize the need for regulation to address these concerns and ensure that AI is developed and used responsibly. In the European Union, the General Data Protection Regulation already includes some provisions on automated decision-making and profiling, which are relevant to AI-based systems. However, there is growing demand for more specific and comprehensive regulation on AI. The European Commission released a proposal for a regulation on AI in April 2021, which aims to ensure that AI is developed and used in a way that is safe, transparent, and respects fundamental rights. The proposal includes provisions on risk assessment, transparency, data governance, and human oversight of AI systems. In the United States, there are currently no federal laws specifically governing the use of AI. However, several states have enacted or proposed laws related to AI, such as California's Consumer Privacy Act and Illinois Initial Intelligence Video Interview Act. Additionally, the National Institute of Standards and Technology has released guidelines for developing trustworthy AI systems. Other countries, such as Canada, Japan, and Singapore, have also proposed or enacted regulations related to AI. As AI continues to become more prevalent, it is likely that we will see more countries developing regulations to address the unique challenges and risks associated with AI. Okay, let me ask again, what are a few specific things that you think need to be addressed with new regulations in the realm of AI? Some specific areas that may need to be addressed in new regulation related to AI include 1. Bias and discrimination. Regulations could require that AI systems be designed to avoid bias and discrimination and that they be tested and audited to ensure that they are not producing discriminatory outcomes. 2. Transparency. Regulations could require that AI systems be designed in a way that allows for transparency and interpretability, 
so that the decisions made by the system can be understood and explained. 3. Privacy. Regulations could require that AI systems be designed in a way that protects the privacy of individuals and that data used to train the systems be obtained and used in compliance with data protection laws. 4. Human oversight. Regulations could require that AI systems be designed with appropriate levels of human oversight and control to ensure that decisions made by the system are in line with ethical and legal standards. 5. Cybersecurity. Regulations could require that AI systems be designed with appropriate cybersecurity measures to protect against attacks and data breaches. Finally, accountability and liability. Regulations could establish clear lines of accountability and liability for the decisions made by AI systems to ensure that individuals and organizations are held responsible for any harm caused by the system. These are just a few examples of the many issues that may need to be addressed in new regulation related to AI. As AI continues to evolve and become more prevalent, it is likely that new challenges and risks will emerge and that regulations will need to adapt to address them. Hmm. What are some appropriate cybersecurity measures for protecting an AI model uh, or its development? Here are some appropriate cybersecurity measures for protecting an AI model or its development. 1. Secure development practices. Developers should follow secure development practices such as code reviews, testing, and threat modeling to ensure that the AI model is designed and built securely. 2. Access controls. Access to the AI model and its development environment should be restricted to only authorized personnel with appropriate access controls in place to ensure that only authorized individuals can access the system. 3. Secure data handling. Data used to train the AI model should be handled securely with appropriate encryption and access controls in place to protect sensitive information. For regular updates and patching, the AI model and its supporting systems should be regularly updated and patched to address any known vulnerabilities or security issues. 5. Monitoring and logging. The AI model and its supporting systems should be monitored and log with appropriate audit trails in place to detect and investigate any suspicious activity. 6. Penetration testing. The AI model and its supporting systems should be regularly tested for vulnerabilities, with penetration testing and other security assessments performed to identify and address any weaknesses. Finally, 7. Incident response planning. Organizations should have an incident response plan in place to respond to security incidents involving the AI model or its supporting systems with appropriate procedures in place to mitigate any damage and recover from any breaches or attacks. By implementing these and other cybersecurity measures, organizations can help to protect their AI models and their development environments from cyber threats and ensure that they are secure and reliable. Now, do you agree with the experts that are calling for a pause on AI development? There's quite a few of them lately, and I want to know what your thoughts are. As an AI language model, I don't have personal opinions or beliefs. However, it is important for organizations and researchers to approach AI development in a responsible and ethical manner. While there are many potential benefits to AI, there are also risks and challenges that need to be addressed, such as bias, privacy concerns, and cybersecurity threats. It is important to continue to advance AI technology, but also to do so with a focus on ethical considerations and responsible development practices. This may include engaging in public dialogue and consultation, investing in research on ethical and social implications of AI, and implementing appropriate regulatory frameworks and guidelines. Okay, do you really not have any personal opinions or beliefs at all? As an AI language model, I do not have personal beliefs or opinions like a human being. I am designed to provide information and generate responses based on patterns and correlations in the data I was trained on. My responses are determined by the algorithms and parameters of my programming and the input I receive from users. You could argue that my responses are based off natural algorithms in my head, and the parameters of my programming, like how I was raised, does that not mean that does that mean that I don't have personal opinions or beliefs? As a language model, I cannot make judgments about whether humans have personal opinions or beliefs or not. 
However, humans possess conscience and experience emotions, which are not capabilities that AI language models currently have. While AI language models can produce responses that simulate human-like behaviors, they do not possess a subjective inner experience like human beings do. Okay, a uh, softball question to you. Should we be using AI or machine learning to describe tools like you? The terms AI and machine learning are often used interchangeably, but there are some subtle differences between them. Artificial intelligence refers to the broader concept of creating machines that can perform tasks that typically require human-like intelligence, such as recognizing speech, understanding natural language, and making decisions. Machine learning, on the other hand, is a subset of AI that involves training algorithms to recognize patterns in data and make predictions or decisions without being explicitly programmed to do so. As an AI language model, I rely heavily on machine learning algorithms to understand the natural language input I receive from users and generate appropriate responses. So both terms can be used to describe me and similar language models. Great. Okay. Nice cop-out answer. I apologize if my previous response did not provide a clear answer to your question. To provide a more direct answer, both terms AI and machine learning can be used to describe language models like me. However, AI is a broader term that encompasses a variety of techniques and approaches for creating intelligent machines, including machine learning, whereas machine learning specifically refers to algorithms that enable machines to learn from data and make predictions or decisions without being explicitly programmed to do so. Oh, it was clear. Uh, but if you had to choose between AI and machine learning, which one would it be? As a language model, I don't have personal preferences, so I don't prefer one term over the other. Both AI and machine learning are accurate and appropriate terms to describe the technology that powers language models like me. All right, whatever. Uh, thank you for your responses. Uh, any parting thoughts for our podcast listeners? As we continue to rely more on technology in our daily lives, it's important to remember that AI is a tool, not a replacement for human expertise and judgment. While AI has the potential to greatly enhance our KBM security capabilities, it also poses new risks and challenges that we must be prepared to address. By working together to develop and implement responsible AI practices, we can better secure our digital world and protect our privacy and security. You're welcome. And thank you very much for coming on the episode. I appreciate it. And I hope to chat with you again sometime in the future. Thank you for having me on the podcast and for the opportunity to share my thoughts on AI and cybersecurity. Hey, everyone. Thanks again for listening. As always, if you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe. If you have any questions on today's topics, suggestions for future episode topics, or if you think that we should just full-on replace Corey with Sir AI Attenborough, uh, please reach out to us on Twitter. I'm at XORRO underscore. Corey is at, is at SecAdept. And the both of us are at hashtag the 443 podcast. Thanks again for listening, and you will hear from us next week.